We use coins. Dot com. The Swiss, in their time, made plans to eliminate infrastructure on their withdrawal from Nazi troops in the event of an invasion. In our less warlike situation, what are the options for the free kings? <laughs> By the way, in my mind, this, uh, I'm not really your enemy, peacenik, police hugging squad, I'm not fighting, this isn't a conflict mentality that Ian represents, poorly in my opinion, that's of pretty limited value. Uh, the city of Keene, much as I might like many of the people who work for it, they are my enemies, they are Ian's enemies. There's no getting around it. And you will you, you will almost have better relations with them if you just treat them as an enemy in an honorable manner. They'll respect that, but this hippie peacenik stuff just comes off as passive aggressive. I'm not really your enemy. Oh, what are you doing to me? I want to hug you. No, I just treat <laughs> the city of Keene as my enemy. And I get along with it way better than Ian does with all his attempted be my friend craziness. Uh, there's probably, there's got to be some sort of term for this phenomenon where people like their enemies better than <laughs> the, the people who are trying to be their friends and spewing the L word all the time. Love. Anyway, what else could be done to make that house a harder PR target? Well, I like the idea. Of course, they've got security cameras up already, and those have earned their they've earned their place um, for sure. But I wonder if it might be possible to get more security cameras up and kind of move in a reality TV direction, preferably a live reality TV direction. So you'd have maybe a live feed constantly coming from various cameras that each have a different method of broadcasting. Like one is using a wireless, you know, cell signal, another is using a Hard line, hard wire, whatever. Maybe a little bit more welcoming attitude toward journalists would be appropriate. I have felt a little bit restricted when I was there. Someone tried to stop me from doing an interview in one of the rooms. I was doing it in the room because I didn't want to be outside bothering neighbors. And you have cameras and we'll see what happens. Uh, Carlos Miller got a little pushback when he went in there and was just filming. I think the ABC affiliate team was treated pretty well when they were there a couple years ago. They were inside, well, at least in Ian's house in the LRN studio, the uh, radio broadcast center there. Ideally, you'd want to have maybe a couple of journalists, uh, the bigger the better, living there for a while or staying there for weeks. Maybe there could be uh, secret compartments of some kind where a person could hide and... Uh, be there observing the situation even after everybody's been kicked out. The house could be reoccupied. I know this was again, a lot of these ideas that I'm getting <clears throat> come from the Ed Brown situation in 2007. Many of the same things happened. There were roadblocks. There were bans on people going there after the home was seized and the people were put away for life to die in concrete boxes. Uh, someone did come and reoccupy the house, uh, an activist. Anyway, the kind of thing I advocate is a more peaceable but comprehensive defense than what Ed Brown put up. He did, by the way, supposedly make the place unsafe uh, so that, look, when, they, when the feds are trying to resell it now, they're, trying to t they're having to tell everybody that there may be landmines on the property. Well, I'm against that. It's too indiscriminate, too potentially violent, if it even happened. But again, more peaceable type of... Um, deprival regimen should be thought about. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. Most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. 
inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at weusecoins.com.